If you visit the 102 cows at River Ridge Dairy Farm along the Seneca River, you might be surprised to see them enjoying a cushy life of leisure. This is their city, it is their home, and they run it. Um, they get to do what they want to do when they want to do it. And here's the key why. They can be milked whenever they want and at any hour without any pushing or prodding by robots. These Holsteins are essentially milking themselves. Uh, we have robotic machines and they milk the cows 24-7 at their own convenience. They come in when they want to come in and when they want to be milked when nature calls. They can go outdoors, drink when they want to drink, eat when they want to eat. They can socialize. It's their choice when they want to go and get milked. Here's how it works. When nature calls, the cows wander over to the stanchion and get in a position for the robot. The robot downloads data from a transponder around their neck and identifies which cow is visiting. Basically, the transponder is the Fitbit for a cow. The robotic arm swings under the cow and uses a laser to locate each teat, and a brush washes and stimulates each teat twice. While she is milked, the cow munches on snacks which are carefully rationed and recorded by the robot. Robots make for happy cows, but they also make for happy farmers. I can rely on them 100%. Who wants to milk cows at 3, in, 3 o'clock in the morning? Not me. Uh, we start our day at 7 a.m. We're done by 5, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. So, and then nobody's really here during the middle of the day unless the robot calls us because the robot will call us if there is an issue. Karen and Mike Hooper employ other kinds of technology on the farm, which all together make for about a million and a half dollar investment. The robot dials the farmer's phones if an animal stays in the milk stanchion too long or if it fails to show up at all. At the end of the day, Karen can browse through all that data on the computer in her office overlooking the barn floor. She can detect in advance if a cow is sick or maybe has the start of mastitis. An nutritionist can look at the data on his phone to see if he needs to adjust their diets. All of this technology is also giving hope to the next generation of farmers, she says. Newer generations, the younger generations, they're all about technology. So why would they want to go to a freestyle with a stanchions or a tie stall and, and you know, do the grudgery work when a robot can do it and that's cool.